Management of Information. In this module, we will talk about the personal health information confidentiality. We will also talk about the that how physicians keep the patient information confidential. Now, first, let's look at the definition of that what is personal health information. This is something identifying information about the patient health, mental health, physical health in an oral or in a recorded form. This information particularly relates to the patient mental physical health and also deals with the patient medical record. This information also relates to the uh, providing health care to the concerned individual. If you talk about the personal health information, it also involves long-term care such as living well patient and the family care services, uh, child and the family care services, health protection uh, services. So this also relates to the payment modes and eligibility for health care in respect to the individual. So this information also involves the donation by the individual of any body part. It can be kidney, cornea, bone, uh, bone marrow or bodily like substances. Now this information also identify substitute maker consent. For example, in healthcare power uh, services, we talk about that patient has the ability to shift its uh, authority to the agent or to the proxy that can decide the individuals or the patient future health status, especially when the patient is not mentally stable. Now, physician has the responsibility to act in accordance legally as well as professionally. So this establish and preserve patient-physician relationship and provide confidence to the patient. Because of this confidence, patient can easily discuss the complete and accurate health information with the physician. So this is the high standard of patient care that is provided to the patient. Now, in some situations, patient information has to be disclosed. It can be either due to the request of the patient himself or it can be the consent given by the decision maker. Now, sometimes the situations are created when patient information are required for lawful purposes. Similarly, there is a term known as lockbox in which patient restricted the physician not to disclose his information to the family members even to those individuals which are in the patient circle of health care. So at this time physician has the are advised to help the physicians by discussing the potential health risk due to the lockbox. So if the patient sometimes feel that it is unethical and it is dangerous for the patient safety risk as well. So patient can refuse in by, uh, for providing the treatment in future. So at this time, a physician must has the reasons for uh, not giving the treatment to the patient in future when the patient is not in emergency because these reasons, these are answers are also kept in patient information record. Now there are certain situations such as patient is suffering from infectious disease. In such situations, physicians has to disclose the information to the family members. For example, the patient is suffering from tuberculosis and I hope you people know that tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and it is contagious, means it can be transmitted to other individuals as well. So here physicians has to explain the family members so that they can take precautionary measures as well as they help the patient in completing the treatment plan.